I have a big stack of books here to show you as well as some bookish goodies because you know I've been doing some book shopping. Frankly, you're quite lucky that I am here talking to you and not reading all these beauties. Welcome back and welcome to my, let's call it the February book haul. Um, I acquired most of these books in February, so we're going with February. Um, I have my book of the month club pick to share with you. I have some books that were sent to me, either from publishers or because I won something. And then I have some books that I bought a couple of signed copies and a couple of books that I bought sent to England and then they came over to meet me in New York, which was fun. I went home with a big suitcase full of books, but that's always what happens when I go to New York. Let's face it. Um, so I will start with the books that I have been sent. Um, I was sent a copy of The Neighbours by Nicola Gill. Um, because I am on the blog tour for this one, I'm going to be reviewing this one. Um, and this one is To Get Up From Rock Bottom, You've Got To Take The Stairs some women have it all. Um, so I'm excited to read this one. This one sounds a little bit like the film that won the live action short at the Oscars this year. That kind of like the grass is always greener, twitching the neck curtains to look at what new thing they've got next. Um, so I'm intrigued by this and I'm happy to have a physical copy. I already had an e-copy, but they sent me this for the blog tour. So you can look forward to seeing this on my Instagram soon. My Instagram and my blog are obviously always linked below along with my Goodreads and my other social media handles. Um, then also for a blog tour, I was sent a proof copy of People Like Us by Louise Fine. And this says, I nearly drowned and Walter rescued me. That makes everything different. And this is the proof copy, which kind of gives nothing away. You can see it's released in May. Um, and then the back just gives you a very short blurb. It says, a perfect German child. Hetty will do anything for her country. But Walter, the blonde haired, blue eyed boy that saved her life is a Jew. As they grow ever closer, Hetty begins to fight against her family, her country and herself. Will you fight for their love? Um, so this sounds a little bit like Jojo Rabbit, but less comedic. Um, I don't know why I'm comparing all the books to Oscar nominated films, but apparently this is where we're going. Um, and I'm on the blog tour for this one. It is a bit of a lengthy book. So I do have a Kindle copy as well, um, in case I don't have room in my bag for this one. It is just shy of, no, it is just over 100, 500 pages. It is 501 pages. Um, so thank you to Avon for sending me um, this one. And this one is Head of Zeus. So thank you for those. And then, um, Kelly, who runs Love Books Tours, who is responsible for some fabulous um, book blog and bookstagram tours, uh, sent me a copy of this book that I was part of the tour for. And this is Bella by R.M. Francis. And I will leave the link below because I shared an extract from this one on my blog. So you can read an extract of it. It's a very short read. And I'm like, having read the extract, quite intrigued. Um, it's a little outside my comfort zone, but when you look at that cover, you're like, oh, what's going on there? Like I say, I have an extract on the blog, so I'll leave it linked below if you are interested in this one. And then um, I was lucky enough to win a couple of books as well. I won a copy of My One True North by Millie Johnson. I read this on ebook. Um, and this is, I love that, I really, really love the tagline here. It says, as surely as a compass points north, some people cannot be kept apart. It's just so sweet. Um, this book deals with grief and kind of second chance romance um, to an extent, but just the way everything's woven together and everything else that Millie Johnson puts in here. I want to make a whole video reviewing this one, so I'm not gonna to talk too much about it, but I want a copy of this one. And with it came something else. So we're going to unbox that together now. Here we have a package, a pink package. 
um, and I believe it is an item of jewellery in here, but I thought I would wait and open it with you. And then obviously you'll be able to see it on my Instagram as well. There's the jeweler's box. Oh, that is so beautiful. It is a compass on a beautiful strand there. Oh, it's so shiny. So shiny. Is it stretchy? Yes. I was just checking before I stretch it over my wrist and it snaps. There you have a compass and the bracelet. I am a very lucky person to have won that. Um, and then there's more. I won another giveaway. Well, technically, Hayley won this giveaway, but it was a um, like Galentine's Share the Love giveaway. So she entered me. <laughs> Uh, she tagged me and entered me um, to win a box of chocolates. So I have myself a heart-shaped box of lint truffles. Very exciting. And then I open up the envelope that I think just has the truffles in it. And there's a card. And the card says, To Katrina, your friend Hayley tagged you in our giveaway to celebrate love and friendship. And we couldn't resist sending you some chocolates and a book too. I hope I've done Colorado proud and that you enjoy <gasps> Wishes Under a Starlit Sky, which is by Lucy Knott. When life doesn't go to plan, you can write yourself a new story. And so I'm thinking from what she said in the card that this one is set in Colorado. Um... And it's one of these, this, again, the tagline here gets me. From the outside, Harper Hayes looks like she is winning at life. I love that when it's one of these stories where everything is not what it seems. Um, but the fact that this is possibly set in Colorado really intrigues me. And so I am very thankful to Hayley for entering me and to Lucy for sending me the chocolates and the book and the lovely card. Like, how nice is that? So nice. Um, and just, you know, grateful and happy. Um, so let's see, what should I share with you next? I'm going to share the books I bought next and then I will give you my book of the month club pick and some other bookish goodies that I got. So obviously when I was in New York, I went to Strand. Generally there, I'll look for either kind of half price things that I'm interested in or signed editions of things that I'm interested in. And they had a signed copy of The Witches Are Coming by Lindy West, which you know I have read and loved already, but I don't own a physical copy of it. And this is a signed physical copy. So it can go on my shelf. And obviously when you buy something from Strand, they also give you bookmarks, which is always handy. Um, but this is a signed copy. And so I can keep it on my shelf and come back to it when I am ready for a reread. This is what it looks like naked. It's got some lovely burnt colour um, on the spine, but I think this is just beautiful and it is the soft touch material. So it's like nice to feel as well. And then Another signed edition that I was on the lookout for, they didn't have any of these at Strand, but I was reliably informed by Bethany, who went to the launch of this one in this particular bookshop, that McNally, McNally Jackson Books down in Soho had copies of this one. So my last day in New York, I made a pilgrimage down there, down 56 blocks or something, um, to see if they had any signed ones left. In hindsight, maybe I should have called ahead to double check that they did have them, but I wanted to see the bookshop anyway, so that was fine. Um, the only thing is they have a massive step into their shop, so I had to leave mum outside. She couldn't come in. But thankfully, it was a nice day and wasn't raining, but I felt a bit like those people that like leave their dogs outside the shop. I thought that was a real shame that she didn't get to look, but, you know, I got the book I was looking for. Here's The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper. I do have a signed proof of this one because I met him at Book Expo this year, um, but I wanted to support him by buying a physical copy and also support the bookshop, even though they're not accessible. And it's a signed copy and I have it. 
and I'm very excited to have it as well. Um, and I posted a picture of this one in my Insta stories in case you missed it. Um, then we have some books that I bought to be sent to the UK for mum to bring over to New York and then I could bring them back to Denver. I have the third book in the Cinders and Sparks series by Lindsay Kelk. Um, this one is Cinders and Sparks, Goblins and Gold. This is a middle grade series uh, that's a retelling of Cinderella but also jams in, you know, reimagined parts of other fairy tales in here. It is just fantastic and funny and feminist and wonderful and highly, highly recommend to you. Then I have the 2020, I have one of them down here, 2020 quick reads books. I bought them on Kindle. I pre-ordered them all on Kindle so I could have them if I had chance to read them in the month of February. But then I also ordered the physical copies and sent them to mum so that she could bring them over um, because I really like reading the physical copies of these ones because I like the large print. And these are them. We have Notting Hill Carnival, A West Side Story by Candace Carty Williams, who is the author of Queenie, which is amazing. And I have reviewed on this blog, on this channel, um, how do you find the one in a million? And it's so pink. I love how pink it is. Um, then we have some nonfiction. We have This Is Going To Hurt by Adam Kay, which is a specially adapted version of his best-selling book. I listened to this one on audio, but I am glad to have a copy of the quick reads because I'm going to see how they manage to fit what happens in the full book into 70 pages of fairly large font. Then we have, this is probably the one I'm kind of, I'm not most excited about it, but I'm most excited to begin reading it, which is a different thing. Um, the Donor by Claire McIntosh, um, which is, she gave you everything, but what does she want in return? When Lizzie's daughter Meg is given a life-saving heart transplant, Lizzie feels hugely grateful to the nameless donor. And we'll see what happens from there. But the reason I'm excited to start reading this is because I am aware of Claire, Claire McIntosh. I'm aware she's amazing and I have met her. However, I haven't read anything by her. And so to have a quick read that I can read by her, I think is an amazing place to start. So I'm really excited to read this. Then one of the reasons why quick reads is so fantastic is the fact that people like me that read a lot can then access authors and or genres that they have not heard of or wouldn't normally consider. And that to me is where they manage to just get access for everyone. So whilst these are great for people who don't have a lot of time to read or um, haven't read in years or um, have um, a, an inability to read for some reason, for people like me that do a lot of reading, I can come to an author I've been meaning to read and have time to actually read something by them or come to a genre and author I wouldn't normally read. This is Darkness Rising by A.A. A. Dand and this says introducing Detective Inspector Harry Verdi and I would not normally read something that's kind of a crimey, we've got a detective inspector in there type of book and I have not read anything by this author. However, because this is a quick read and this is like 130 pages, I'm going to read it and I'm going to have discovered a new author because of quick reads and I love that. And then a very much not new to me author um, and one I know I am going to love. This is The Little Dreams of Lara Cliff by Millie Johnson. You know I love Millie Johnson. I have read everything that she has written aside from this that I'm holding in my hands right now and um, I know I'm going to love it and I just know I'm going to breeze through it and just enjoy it. Uh, and this is about one life-changing weekend. Sometimes the little things in life can make the biggest difference. So those are the 2020 quick, quick reads, plus the one that I talked about in my February wrap-up, which if you haven't seen, I will have linked it up above. Um, I go into more detail about that one in that video. And then we have my book of the month club picks. Here's my blue box. You can see that there are two things in here because it's a bigger box. Again, I talked about this one in my February wrap up. This is 
Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. Um, this one um, is... Jamie Goldberg is cool and volunteering for his local state Senate candidate, as long as he's behind the scenes. When it comes to speaking to strangers, or let's face it, speaking at all to almost anyone, Jamie's a choke artist. There's no way he'd ever knock on doors to ask people for their votes until he meets Maya. And Maya has her own reasons for being less than enthusiastic about the things that she's doing. Um, and yeah i enjoyed this one and i like the fact that it's not scared to deal with political matters i really like that about it and then that was my add-on so the book that i picked from this month's selections or february's selections i've skipped marches so you won't be having a march book of the month club pick is anna k a love story which is a young adult retelling of anna karenina um, every happy teenage girl is the same, while every unhappy teenage girl is miserable in her own special way. And I have to admit that this is very much like I'm intrigued by the cover. And this was an early release, but unfortunately I didn't get to it in February. So it is on my March TBR. It's an unofficial addition to my March TBR. Um, but yeah, I have read Anna Karenina, so I'm interested to see what the retelling has to say and um excited by that tagline as well then i have some bookish items to show you um whilst shopping in new york obviously i bought a mug i buy mugs i like cups i like mugs i went to fish's eddy that I'd seen something about somewhere online and be liking mugs and cups and plates and bowls and glasses as much as I do. I saw a video of it and thought, yeah, that's that's right up my alley. That's definitely my kind of thing. And um, they had a whole window display that was like, Katrina, this is for you. Come in and buy them. And I was like, can't argue with that. Go on then. Um, and it's this mug here which has branding for Strand on. So it's got the Fishes Eddie branding and also Strand. Like, do they sell these in Strand and I just missed them? It says nerd and it has a ton of books. And I really like the coloring and I really like the shape, the fact that it's not straight up and down. It's got like a little lip to it and it's quite wide. So it's not like wide and, and like wide and short and it's not tall and straight it's, it's a mashup of everything and then the fact that the coloring is like mint green i really like that and also you know i am a book nerd i'm proud so these were in the window i had to go in what are you gonna do um and then whilst in strand i got myself a new bookmark i'll take it out the shiny wrapper so that you can hopefully see it better it's a canvas bookmark, which is quite exciting. And it's just got lots of like New York detail on it, like the Metro card and the cup and the books and the pigeons and the big apple and then the strand trolleys. So cool. Um, so yeah, like I say, it's a canvas bookmark. So it's nice and, and floppy and I was like, I'm going to treat myself to this. Having only managed to find one signed book whilst I was in here, I'm going to pay $6 for a bookmark. Why not? And I got myself a couple of new stickers as well because I've been collecting some stickers. I've decided that everything I own is too plain and needs more stickers. So I picked up a couple at Strand again. They're really expensive in there, but I love them. Um, this one, quite self-explanatory. It's pink and it says books are cool. Again, it was like, Katrina, you have to buy me. And then I have this one as a pin and they have obviously other branded stuff that looks like this, um, but it's King Kong with his book at the top of the Empire State Building. And I really, really love that. And finally, I ordered myself a couple of new book sleeves. And so we're going to open up this beautiful package together. We're gonna to do a little unboxing. You can see my two new book sleeves that aren't Christmas book sleeves because I have um, coffee book sleeve and a coffee and donuts book sleeve and then I have Christmas book sleeve so me. oh oh it seems such a shame to rip the envelope but hey it's 
you can quite clearly see what the first one is. Quite clearly, so much plastic. The first one is Friends themed. Oh, I'm making such a mess here. It's a Friends themed book sleeve. We have Central Perk. I like the fact that this is black as well. Um, and obviously being Central Perk, it's got the green lining on the inside. And I also like the fact that this is like the smooth stuff because the um, donuts one that I have behind me is flannel. So if I've got quite a full bag, it sometimes catches on things. So I ordered this in the smooth fabric. And then the other one I ordered out of the crinkly paper. So noisy. So noisy. Is just a ton of license plates, which again is the smooth stuff. And you know, I love a road trip. I have vlogged some of my road trips here on this channel. Um, and it's got the bookish bling design down the bottom there. Um, I'm like looking, where's my, where's my license plate? Where's my one on my car? Uh, maybe it isn't on there. I'm sure I saw Colorado. There's Wyoming next to Colorado, West Virginia, Vermont, Alabama, Washington, Kansas, a couple of New York plates on here. Ah. I'm sure Colorado like jumped out at me. Maybe I saw mountains as in Green Mountains, Vermont. Anyway, see if you can find your plate on there. Uh, yes, she was having a sale and I was like, I need new book sleeves. Why not? Um, yeah, no book haul in February. Monster book haul in March. We're now over the 20 minute mark. Can you believe it? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, if you do the same where you go and visit somewhere, do you have to buy a book? Do you have to buy some bookish merch? Are you as obsessed with mugs as I am? And if it's a different shape or a different colour, you just have to have it. Don't know how I'm going to fit it in the mug cupboard, but we'll see. It'll happen. It will. It's become the way that my mugs can't all be in the cupboard at the same time some have to be in use and some have to be in the dishwasher at any one time i'm sure that's a problem other people have too it's fine um i will be back with some more bookish content for you very soon i have a book versus movie coming up i have a a review coming up i have you know lots of bookish chat coming up for you so you're going to want to subscribe so that those videos land in your subscription feed if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Like I say, I will be down in the comments chatting to you there. Um, so I will see you either in the comments or with my next video. Thank you for watching.